I have just finished editing this video and my god, you guys have some very questionable presentations coming up for you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Back in the first lockdown, I hosted a presentation evening for my friends where we all made each other presentations and we had to blind present them. We had some very, very interesting presentations from our friend group. Make sure you buckle up, get a nice warm hot drink, cuddle up somewhere, get comfy and enjoy the chaos that is about to ensue. <laughs> Reasons why I am, in fact, Hannah Montana. This is apparently Hannah Montana. This is me. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I actually can't remember filming the show as I have a significant brain injury. <laughs> Kate and hair, 2020, colorized. I will now prove that I am Hannah Montana by proving my hair is not a wig. <laughs> <What>? Two. <laughs> oh, your hair. <laughs> To further demonstrate my point, I decided to make a graph. Right. A form and 75% talent, 8% blonde, and perform and swag the 17%. I will now perform best of both friends to all. Best of both I believe no further evidence is required. I am Hannah Montana. Okay. If you have questions, that means you haven't listened. If you take the letters from Hannah Montana and rearrange them, you actually get the name Caitlin Hare. That is yes. so true. Yeah. Where? How? <laughs> Just go along with it. How to attract it, men. Men oh, come laughing. many forms. They may look like this. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> they look quite good as men. Here is the anatomy oh, of a male. Obviously. As you can see, men do not have a uterus. What is that? <laughs> Rule one, do not ask about their interests. Interests? No, men do not have interests. Did you know the son of men exist? This figure's a staggering. <laughs> Stalking can be a great way to trap, I mean, attract a man. Following him home will show him that you are fun and daring. Waiting outside his house can also show him that you were interested in him. If you see him in the street, make sure to bump into him. Hit him with your car. Anything that makes him notice you. If in doubt, remember to what? Watch him. <laughs> Attack them. <laughs> Pussy slam them. <laughs> Thank you for listening. We are going to discuss the point that I say baby it deserves absolutely no fundamental human rights today. As you should. If you don't know who the Ice Age baby is, it's this guy. <laughs> Look at on me that deserves any rights at all. I will wait. I believe the Ice Age Baby, furthermore, deserves death. Kill Ice Age Baby. <laughs> Ice Age Baby is the most irritating thing to exist in history. It has come to my attention that there's actually a rumour going around by the reputable source of Change.org that Ice Age Baby is in fact responsible for <laughs> various other disgusting, heinous acts, which leads me to the conclusion that the Ice Age Baby is responsible for the entire pandemic. He killed my personal grandpa back in 2014 Whoa. with his bare hands. Now, he should die. Anyone's gonna dare me from me wrong? No. No, no I'm good. I don't think I can. Quite scared. Why do you feel so passionate about the death of Ice Age Baby? I think the world should end as a whole. It is time that we all quit and stop making children and we should start chopping off the bad ones one by one. Thank you for listening. I would like to introduce you to my TV show pitch. It will be set in the quaint town of Puddledale. Therefore, <laughs> it will be called Puddledale. What happens? I'm about to tell you. A group of girls are tormented by a stalker named B, who exposes their deepest, darkest secrets. The characters, Emily, she gets bitten by a mermaid. She then becomes a mermaid. Emily only sings in cursive. She gets falsely arrested for murder. Amelia. She sells her boyfriend <laughs> through a hotel. She's actually revealed to be Donald Trump's secret daughter, which makes so much sense because from the beginning of the show, we're just gonna paint her bright orange. She does get kidnapped, however, and put into a dollhouse. Here at Puddledale, we just want to create really believable, <laughs> male characters. <laughs> really for the women, by the women. Kate Lena, revealed to be a murderous vampire. Uh, she gets kidnapped. <laughs> by an ice cream man and keeps the corpse of her brother in the basement. Emily. She's an evil Irish twin. It's very important that this twin is Irish. <laughs> who tries to take over her life. She gets abducted by aliens and gets cast into the <laughs> in the N3D school. Yeah, we, we, we just really want to keep this 
realistic, <laughs> believable, pretty about her, her and Shrek have this little thing going on. We don't really like to talk about <laughs> it. She murders the ice cream man who oh, does she... crop up earlier. You know, feminism woo, is put on the front line in an NCAD show. It's very important she that it's the front line and not the As front row. Because we want to compare this to a war situation, you know? Being a woman in a war. <laughs> oh yeah, and then she also does go to war. Evelyn she discovers that she has the serial killer gene. She opens an illegal speakeasy. She gets mixed up very confusingly in the world of Tickle Pong. Oh, and she also starts a glee club, Kitty Alina. She has a sex scandal with a history teacher. She does pray to the devil, and then because of that, it gives birth to the Antichrist. As redemption, she saves everyone at the school shooting and gets attacked by a bear. And then on to Gracie. She kidnaps Harry Styles. She fakes her Death, becomes a drug lord and is revealed to be B, but everyone forgives her. How could this get any better? <laughs> a musical episode never done before. Completely original crossover. <laughs> Hairspray. Hairspray. You were oh, wow. wrong. Thank you. That's it. My my TV show will be streaming on Disney Plus in 2025. A reindeer wouldn't run over your grandma but a gay would. An analysis into the preservation of humble tradition and the reason why homosexuality is the real pandemic. Before I begin, respect will trigger warning. This presentation will include mentions of triggering subjects such as Jacqueline Wilson and Australia. Here's a cute dog to help settle your nerves. <laughs> The ancient Greeks were not participating in any gay activities. Man having anal sex with another man is not gay. Being in the same <laughs> with Daphne Blake is gay. Being in the EU, very gay. Wow, okay, let's have a look at some notable sexualities. There are just three distinct features which allow us to distinguish a gay person from a normal person. One, a short haircut. They have their hair chopped off in a public shaving ritual. <laughs> Got off with good fingers. <laughs> clothes. For someone who spent so long in the closet, you'd think they'd know how to dress. Thank you for listening, even though you didn't have a choice. Oh, I'm flustered. Uh, <clears throat> Criminal Minds. How many drinks it will take before I sleep with them? Aaron Hotchner. Three shots. Looks damn good for 58. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. 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 Good. Yes. Can be very demanding, but maybe I'd like that in bed. David Rossi. <laughs> a million shots. Old enough to be my granddad. He would probably have a heart attack in the middle of it, let's be honest here. Derek Morgan, where, where Derek is spelt very wrong. Zero shots. I repeat, zero. The body of a absolute god. Jason Gideon. All of the shots in the world. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> a trillion. I would not sleep with him even if you offered me any amount of money. Spencer Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Zero shots. Absolutely stone cold. Stone absolutely zero. You get the point. This man is 41. What? 41. What? No, he isn't. No, 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 he, he, is. he turns 41 next week. Correct. Yeah, I would I would pay him to sleep with me. And that is the end. Our group has TV show characters. All I can oh, say is Betty Cooper, and I completely agree. I knew she had a dark side from the moment she threatened to rip a teddy's head off. I in the streets, sexy in the sheets. She had the hot tub party, although no males were injured or in fact in attendance. <laughs> Emma is Eloise Bridgerton. She's <laughs> very iconic and so is Eloise Bridgerton. <laughs> currently is a man hater. It turns out, and I know it's a shock, she had a very high percentage in the daddy kink on the BGS. <laughs> we really do stand a feminist queen, Emma Hinks. Amy Pett as Serena <laughs> She drinks way too much. much. You need to cut the fuck down. She does not have a sex tape, but has made accidental nude videos so along the same lines. She has a lot of people around her who are frankly quite concerned. I can <laughs> vouch for that. that one. I can, I can uh, vouch for that. Yeah, Eve Reader <laughs> as Jenkins. <laughs> Tarot cards. Only a few people are blessed with this humble tarot. Not so secret kinky side. Referring to the very small percentage of vanilla in the media centers. She's fiercely loyal to her friends. Now she's hashtag sober. She's not just sober, guys. She's hashtag, hashtag. sober. Great small <laughs> as Sabrina Spotting a theme here. Apparently I only have one personality trait and it's gone. She spends a lot of her time at church. Grace would never let anyone hurt one of her friends. <laughs> Amy Callahan as Jojo Siwa. Always comes back like a boomerang. Might not be wearing a bow, but her collection of Mickey ears is iconic in its own right. Amy's humble and probably would have a cult with her face on it. It's very humble. Chrissy is never as Aria Montgomery. No student teacher relationship. Always looking after her younger siblings. So, so humble. Running from a murderer, but running from her flatmates who may as well be murderers. Cough, COVID parties. Cough. 
Katie McNulty Ho, who has only capitalised <laughs> my own name. We four for genders. Flexing that new Gucci jumper. My dad's is a bit kind of repressed. Little fun fact. I used to do cheer, so we are practically the same person. And here is my favourite slide that I put together. Snow White and the Seven Humble Horizontal Refreshments. Disney trend for making bad live action remakes of its old movies. Here's looking at you. Emma, do you know how to read? <laughs> Snow White, me of course. Our fearless leader is always cooking <laughs> when we're just about to zoom. This is her world and you're just all living in it. Grumpy, Amy Pet. do not get on the wrong side of her. Sweetheart, <laughs> when you get to know her. Sophie, Kate, okay. Baby Yoda vibes. Very confused and always surprised. Doesn't say real words, but makes up lots of random noises. Doc, Amy Collahan. <laughs> Major dad vibes. Wisdom beyond her years. Stops us from dying when we're all drunk and desperately need parental supervision. <laughs> Happy, Kitty. Definitely <laughs> barking to snap and kill Snow White. Also most likely to talk their way out of being arrested bashful eve so pure a favorite of us all never heard of anyone say bad things about her eve please just let me love you easy chrissy uh choose it most likely to accidentally <laughs> sit in a zoom lecture and leave out of pure embarrassment better make seven dwarf stickers after this sleepy great sleepy drunk do not contact her between the hours of 9 p.m and 8 a.m you will not get a response took her three weeks to make this damn presentation <laughs> she worked so hard on it <laughs> Huh? Whoa.